What's up motivators, Taryn here. What you eat for breakfast before doing a triathlon, a running race, a cycling event, or any endurance event can make the difference between having a great day and limping your way to the finish line. We're going to give you a breakfast that'll make sure you're topped up and ready to perform your best. It'll work for beginners all the way up to advanced athletes and even those with dietary restrictions. Let's do it. My name is Taryn Gazelle. In my 20s, I was overweight, unfulfilled, and couldn't even run to the end of the block. Over the following years, I found endurance sports, lost 65 pounds, won age groups, raced world championships, broke records, and trained and learned from some of the best athletes and coaches in the world. You too can use endurance sports to change your life and accomplish your fitness goals. You just need a system. A system that's meant for us amateurs who want to be our best while feeling our strongest and healthiest. My company Motive offers that system and I want to share some of the tips from it today. The breakfast you eat the morning of a race should accomplish several things. First, it should give you long lasting energy. Second, it should keep your blood sugar stable so you don't have an energy crash. Third, it should make you feel full for a long time so you're comfortable. Fourth, it should top up all your levels to your personal optimum. And finally, it should be easy to eat even with some race morning nerves. This is the Motive Power Oatmeal Breakfast Recipe. The morning of your race, you should try to eat your breakfast four hours before the start of the race. For example, if you're scheduled to start at 8 a.m., then you should eat breakfast at 4 a.m. This will allow your stomach to empty and give you plenty of time for bathroom breaks. Yes, this will result in some really early mornings. Trust us though, it's worth it. For the oatmeal recipe, start with about a half a cup of natural gluten-free oatmeal, which is really long-lasting energy from complex carbohydrates. Prepare this the morning of the race, not the night before, so the oatmeal doesn't turn into overnight oats or resistant starch and become a huge amount of fiber in your digestive tract on race day. To add in some protein, we'll add two cups of UCAN Energy Plus Plant Protein. UCAN is a carb called super starch that will keep your blood sugar stable and give you energy for absolutely hours. And the protein will give you some amino acids to make sure that your muscles don't get broken down to produce energy when you're racing. Add whatever nuts you like to get in some good fat for lowering inflammation. I like walnuts, but you can really use any nuts. Then add in some berries for taste and a low blood sugar food source with a huge amount of antioxidants. Use any milk that you want, and after heating it up, it's ready to go, but we're not going to stop there. To top up sodium levels, we'll use a hyperhydrator with over a thousand milligrams of sodium. This tends to really help athletes in hot conditions or when they're pushing really hard and building up a lot of body heat. Some hyperhydrators come pre-packaged, but in this case, we're just going to use several scoops of the UCAN Hydrate Electrolyte Mix to get to that over a thousand milligram target. If you tend to have coffee in the day, definitely have coffee on race morning. It's not going to dehydrate you, it's actually hydration neutral, and you don't want to deprive yourself of caffeine if you're used to having it. Also take any supplements that you normally have each day. We just keep it simple here with some vitamin B, some iron, an omega-3, and some athletic greens. Whip all this up and you should be ready to go. This is going to give you tremendously long lasting energy from the complex carbohydrates in the oatmeal and the very, very long lasting blood sugar stable you can super starch. It's also going to make you full because oatmeal is very satiating. So you're going to feel full for a long period of time. Your muscles aren't going to break down because you have some amino acids. It's going to top up all the levels that you need to your personal optimum, making sure that you are carb loaded while not being overly burdened and having a big lump of carbs in your stomach from race morning. And it should be easy to eat because the berries, the Yukan super starch, it all becomes really tasty and gets down very easily because it's nice and light first thing in the morning. Now we're not done. I need to provide a word of caution. Do not do this for the first time on race day. Practice eating this meal in the six to 10 weeks leading up to the race during the workout each week that's most similar to your race conditions. So if you're doing a running race, well, you're doing this before your long run. If you're preparing for a triathlon, you're doing this before the long ride, which should be followed by a brick run. If you're preparing for a cycling event, this should be before your race simulation ride each week. What you want to do is start getting a sense of, do you need a half a cup of oatmeal or do you need three quarters of a cup? Or does that make you feel too full to go and do your exercise and you need more like a quarter of a cup for the smaller athletes? 
Does the Yukan sit well with you? Which milk do you want? What is the most tasty for you so that when you have those nerves on race day, you can still overcome it and make sure that you get in an appropriate amount of carbohydrates. Start figuring these things out in that one session per week that is most similar to your race so you can make sure that there aren't going to be any surprises on race day. Thank you for watching Motivator. There's a link to a video where we give a full training and racing nutrition strategy that if this video was in interesting to you, you will love the video that's right over here. And if you're looking for a training plan for any triathlon, running race, duathlon, swim run, or cycling event that you can imagine, there is a link in the description below to our training app, which is specifically designed to help real age groupers accomplish amazing things. It's designed with the unique requirements of amateur athletes in mind. Hopefully you found this helpful motivators later.